What is a graveyard spiral? Have you ever wondered what happens when a pilot loses their sense of direction in the sky? One scenario that can unfold is known as a graveyard spiral. This term refers to a dangerous situation where a pilot becomes disoriented, often in low visibility conditions like at night or in thick clouds. It is critical for both pilots and air traffic controllers to understand this phenomenon for aviation safety. In a graveyard spiral, the aircraft enters a tight, banked turn while descending rapidly. And like a spin, both wings of the aircraft are still generating lift, meaning the pilot retains some control. However, the aircraft is often flying at a higher speed than in a spin, making recovery more difficult if not addressed quickly. The root cause of a graveyard spiral is usually spatial disorientation. Imagine a pilot who has been in a prolonged banked turn. They might start to feel that the aircraft is level, even when it is not. If they try to correct this perceived level flight by leveling the wings, they could unintentionally tighten the turn, leading to a more significant loss of altitude. For air traffic controllers, recognizing the signs of a potential graveyard spiral is essential. If a pilot reports feeling disoriented or describes unusual flight conditions, controllers can step in to help. Providing clear, concise instructions can guide the pilot back to a safe flying condition. Air traffic controllers can also assist by guiding pilots through recovery procedures. This includes advising them to level the wings and apply the appropriate control inputs to stabilize the aircraft. By being proactive and attentive, Controllers can play a vital role in preventing accidents related to graveyard spirals. In summary, understanding graveyard spirals is important for maintaining aviation safety. Both pilots and air traffic controllers must be aware of the risks involved. By recognizing the signs of disorientation and providing timely assistance, we can work together to ensure safe flight operations.